Hello guys and welcome to a new episode. Today we're going to be looking at how to remove these light units on an Audi A6 Avant on the C6 chassis. Now there's two reasons you may need to remove these. One is to actually replace the whole unit itself because the LED bulbs have gone out. The second reason is to actually to replace the indicator bulb which is inside here or the fog light or reverse light which is in based inside this unit just here. So the first thing you're going to want to do is, of course, open the boot. And the tools you're going to need, I'll actually link down in the description, or show down in the description which ones you need. But it's actually just a flathead screwdriver, a 13mm socket, and an 8mm socket, and a little plastic jimmy bar. Now, one thing to note, if we just take a quick look in the book here. Now, in the book, it shows the rear turn signals as a P21W. Now, on my model, it's actually a PY21W. Now, I'm not sure if that's because mine is the facelift version or, or that's just an error. Yeah, that's just something to take note of when you check yours. Now, when I take the unit out, I'll show you where it's um, put on, on the back of the unit to show you what type of bulb it takes, so you can know which one yours takes. But the reversing lights are correct in the book and the rear fog lights are also correct in the book. So it's only the rear turn signal that's affected by the typo. Now, the rear indicators are actually the same bulbs as the front ones. Now, the, the only difference mainly is um, the location of the little pins inside the bulbs, which I'll show you when we take the unit out. I will also link in the description the parts for the new light units and for the bulbs required for your vehicle as well. So let's crack on and take the units out. The first thing I'll do is the driver's side. So I'll remove this unit here. Now, underneath here, you've got a little handle just underneath there so if you pull that towards you the unit will just pop out quite easily and you can just lift that out of the way and now at this point if you take your 13 mil socket I'll just get a bit of light in here actually quickly there we go some light in there now if you look around here at the top you will see there is a plastic if you can see that hopefully there is a plastic bolt on the back there which is the 13 mil bolt holding that outside unit in so if we go ahead and take that one out first now i hope you can see this i'll actually do a picture on the screen now actually to show a clearer picture of how that is just so you can see where the location of it is it's probably at a funny angle the way i'm laying but it's just a long bolt like that that comes out now remove that completely and then if you take your plastic jimmy bar you're going to want to actually push that pin to wiggle it loose actually little tip if you put this back on just a couple of threads that will give you something to push on so if you get there you go so now you can push on that which will hopefully loosen the light unit off a bit so at this point the back edge of the light just here, you've got two little clips that actually just pop in. This is where you need your plastic jimmy bar, just to try and wedge behind the bulb or the light unit, just like that. And if you pull forwards, it will just pop out. Relatively easy, to be honest. And if we just take our little bolt back off the unit, there we go. The whole light unit should now be free from the vehicle give it a bit of a wiggle and it should come out there you go so at this stage if you want to replace the whole unit you're going to want to take this this plug off which is actually just a clip just here you push that clip like if you can see that upwards like almost towards you and the plug will just pop off I don't know if you can see that in there but if you look at the clip in there when you pull that upwards you can see the clip moving and those two clips that I was just on about are these two here which actually just push in to those two locating pins on there so at this stage if you've got a new light unit you can actually just go ahead and replace the whole light unit but if you want to replace your indicator bulb now if you look on here I don't know if you can see that very clearly on here I'll just turn this light off quickly now 
on the back here you can see it actually says there PY21W that's actually your indicator bulb so if you want to change the indicator bulb you want to need to remove this little white section which is these three clips here so you just gently pop them away like that on all three of them that's three like that that's it they're all free now that should allow you to actually pop this white section out just like that and that'll be free from the main unit then so if you look on the back here now i've actually got an led um indicator bulb in here so if you look on there py21w it's actually that bulb just there now the only difference is i'm not sure if you can see this is these pins on here now it's the location of those. I'll actually show you a PW21. It's actually slightly different if you look on the back there. The pins are dead opposite. Now that's the, what the manual is saying this vehicle needs, but it's actually this type with the off-centered pins. Now these will go in, but they're not going to be very secure, so it is better to get the correct bulb for this purpose. So if you have your new bulb, obviously you can then go ahead and replace it back into the correct location. Now you need to make sure the pins are correct, obviously, where they sit on there. It'll only go in one way, technically. Pop it in, and then you can put this unit back onto the main light unit. Obviously the bulb will only go in the one hole there. If you locate it back on there, and just pop it back in. Can be a bit fiddly, just gotta make sure we line it all up. There you go. And make sure it clips on on all three clips just like that that's secure back in there you go so then you can actually go ahead then and obviously plug plug the plug back in you'll only go in one way you can see it's rounded one side flat on the other and also on there so plug that back in make sure it clips on you can hear your little click and then when you go to put it back in you just gotta wiggle it about a bit and locate the three points that go in and you can see this there in the body there's a hole for your bolt to go through so just wiggle that back in once that's almost in like that this edge just here you now want to kind of just push it into the vehicle like this and you'll hear it pop back into those two locator holes like that and then all you got to do is put your bolt back on the rear side I'll just whack that back on there, do it up. And that is secure. So then you can obviously put your cover back on, which you just slot the bottom, bottom part in first like that and just pop it in. Now on the other side, you can actually see it's just this it's just here it's actually exactly the same the little plastic bolt behind there it's all the same just in reverse so that's pretty much straightforward on that side too now when you come to change in the inner ones on the boot lid you leave your boot up and if you look up here you'll see your let me just get some extra light on this subject You'll see this center bit where your emergency triangle is. If you pop that open, drop it down, you'll see these little flathead plastic screws which hold these two outer covers on. So all you need to do is actually undo those anti-clockwise quarter of a turn, just like that. And that will allow this cover just to pop off. And it's just got like little clips that slot into these three holes on the side there. And once you've got that off, you're going to need to take your 8mm socket. And if you look inside here, if you can see that, hopefully you can. I'll, again, I'll take a picture to point out where the bolts are on this. 8mm bolt there and an 8mm bolt there. Now this inner one, you want to undo completely so it comes off. The thread is quite long, so there is, it does take a bit to undo it, but this whole plastic clip, oh, there we go, this whole plastic clip will come out. So you put that safely to the side, and then you can start undoing your second one. Now this, this one actually will not come completely out. So you need to undo it. 
as far as you can and actually if it goes tight you may need to start wiggling the light to actually pop it out so it comes completely off now this one that's actually look that's come completely off it's pushed the light because it obviously gets it gets caught on the side just here and it actually pushes the light unit out a little bit when you start doing that but once that's in that position you can then the best way to do this is actually if you've got a normal boot you need to close it down a little bit with the electric boot you press your button and where you want it halfway down press the button again and then obviously you can access this light much easier then so then all you need to do is pull the light unit towards you just like that and if it's stiff you can again get your plastic pry bar and uh, you know help wiggle it out once that comes out you'll notice this plastic clip will actually stay in there take that out put it to one side again safely with the other one and now with this light unit you've got this plug just here with two little clips on there i've actually broken the protector part on this one but if you just pinch these two clips inwards like this that plug should pop out nicely just like so so again at this stage if you're fitting a new light unit you can then go ahead and fit a whole new unit back in just by plugging it in and off you go if you're changing the bulb i'll actually show you how to do that which is just this little clip now what you do is actually push the clip downwards like so and pull this black bit towards you and there you go it pops be careful not to drop the light unit it pops straight out which will then give you access to your bulbs to change them so you can go ahead and change your two bulbs again on the back here it also it shows which bulbs which so you've got your h21w there and your w16w inside there so <clears throat> with your new bulbs in you can then pop this black section back onto the back of the light unit you got when you got lo locator pins so it's relatively easy to get on put them back on and push it back in until your clip is nice and firmly back in like that now just to show you how to get this light unit back in correctly let's open this boot unit back up if you take your clips now let me just double check this one second so on the driver's side so this unit which is on this side of the vehicle from the back you're going to take your smaller clip this smaller clip is here and this clip goes on just this part here with a side right on the side here this actually sits on there and it locates into these little like sliders in there so you locate them in there and you do this nut up just a couple of turns so it's loose so it's just on there so it won't fall off and the same goes for this one this is a clip as well it goes that way obviously it won't go on the other way so it only really goes on one way you sit that on actually if you see here you've got a bit of a, a, a guide just up there that it just sits into so you locate that and obviously this this part sits down in here so if you locate that up it can be quite fiddly actually this and if you just uh, make sure oh there we go that's uh that's it there we go and again just get a couple of turns on that so it's loose still now if you look you can actually see this is located in that channel there and the bottom one is located in that channel there so while they are still loose there we go yeah still it still rocks around it's still loose and that one's nice and loose as well so what we do now we can actually plug this back in and put this back into the vehicle because these actually now behave like clips they will that will rock to let that in and this one actually behaves like a clip that will push in so if we close our boot down just a little bit again we can then take the the plug which will only go in one way again because if you see it's got these two slots which go into these two slots here this just pop that back in and make sure it's clipped like that so that's nice and secure and then you can just go ahead and pop this unit back in now you've got 
be careful that this top part here doesn't foul on this because you may need to get your hand in there and give it a bit of a guidance from the back end as well. So if we pop that back in like that, there we go. This should actually just pop back in. There you go, a bit of pressure. You heard that clip in, there you go, and that's clipped as well. So now, that's, yeah, that's pretty much, yeah, that's, that's the clip's got it there. So once that's in, you can then open the boot fully back up. Like that. And then you can actually go ahead and start doing these little nuts back up, all the way up. Now, if I go from the side here, you can actually see this when I'm doing it up. See that gap there? You can see that gap pulling in as I'm doing that up. It pulls the light back into the vehicle nice and firm. Just do that little nut back up, snap that. Let me go for the other nut, do that up. So that's nice and tight, not too tight because there are only little plastic clips, remember. But yeah, once that's in, if I just pop the boot down a little bit, you can see that's nice and secure in the vehicle. So again, it's exactly the same on the other side. Take this cover off, it's exactly the same, just in reverse again, like the uh, outside unit is. So once it's all back together, get your little cover, line these three clips up on the outside here, like that. And then you just line these two little clips up on here. Now make sure they're obviously this way you've got slot, slotted holes under there that these need to slot into. So pop that back on. There we go. Pop that back in. You need a little flathead screwdriver just to do a quarter of a turn clockwise this time. Just to lock them in like that. And then you just uh, close that up and that's your job done. Now as I said before I will put a link in the description for uh, replacement light units for the outer and the inner and I'll also put a link for the indicator bulbs and your reverse and fog lights as well and just to remind again this is the facelift version which has got the LED matrix as well I do believe they're a little bit different on the pre facelift and I will also leave a link in the description for an LED upgrade for your indicator bulbs which is actually what I've done on this vehicle it just gives a much clearer indication on the rear of the vehicle so there you have it, that is job done. Now I hope this video has helped you out in some way and if it has, don't forget to click the like and subscribe and the bell notification so you get notified each time I upload. And as always, if you have any questions, comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Until next time guys, take care.